are entering the age of quantum and IBM is leading the charge in this paradigm shift of computing. And here with me now to talk about recent major developments in quantum computing is Jamie Thomas. She is the general manager for strategy and development of IBM systems. Thanks so much for being here today, Jamie. Uh, thanks for asking me to be here. It's really exciting. <laughs> Fantastic. So first, setting the stage here. Quantum computing, it's such a huge deal. Can you break down for us why this is such, such a big paradigm shift in computing? So we believe that, first of all, quantum will be able to help us explore and solve problems in critical areas for the world, like chemistry, material science, complex optimization. And if we talk about some examples of impact possibilities, right? So when we look at things like chemistry, Today, we're really not able to model a lot of the complex molecules that allow us to understand how to refine where we are, to create new elements, to create new materials that really change the world around us. And a great example of that that we're really talking about in the show is the impact of material science on electric batteries. Right. So electric batteries, really, they reflect and, and impact every industry, right? Including the automobile industry, which is very prevalent here at the CES show. So if we're able to create improved electrical batteries for things like automobiles, we're then able to create an electrical battery that's more affordable, that's uh, really energy efficient, and also is more um, sustainable in terms of its impact on the environment. So if we think about this environmental impact, it really can affect all of us as humans, right? We're so worried about climate change and some of these other challenges around pollution these kinds of things will have a fundamental effect on the world around us. Clearly there's a just massive business case here then yeah. too for IBM. So how does quantum fit into the overall business strategy at IBM? Well, if you think about the IBM uh, history, we're over 100 years old, so we, we have had a history with computing. If you think about the 1950s when we started computers, we really didn't understand what we could do with computers. Now we do, right? Mm -hmm. And so the, the secret is, how do we take advantage of what we've learned in classical computing and really advance that to, uh, with quantum computing? And in fact, what we see with a lot of our uh, clients and members of this network is there's really gonna be a neat a combination of classical computing where the quantum computer is sort of an accelerator to classical, right? right. So classical computers won't go away, but they'll be supplemented by the power of what the quantum com computer can do to solve these unique problems. And so I think that really is the uh, interest that we have, right? Is it's really about setting the next agenda, agenda for computing, but also allowing our clients that have taken advantage of our classical computing to also take advantage of quantum computing, really. It's about bringing more value to their businesses uh, through the, the advent of what this computer can do. Uh, so it's very, um, uh, if you will, it's very supportive of the business model we've been on for a long time is really solving some of the world's most uh, difficult problems. And we have a, a long history of doing that. And we think quantum is an absolutely very important for the future of computing. Yes, a big leap. And then talking about the cost aspect uh, on you guys to, to build these machines, uh, to run them. Can you break down how, how that stacks up compared to classical computing? Well, really the cost factor is, is really evolving. As each machine comes out, we're learning more and more about costs, and that's why we're very uh, working on this from a very systematic view, understanding how we manage the supply chain and the over, overall development effort across IBM to make this cost effective for our clients. So we think we're very much on the right trajectory from that perspective. Uh, but, but also, you know, there's uh, other interesting factors here at play. IBM's always been a very large investor of applied research, right? We're one of the largest uh, applied research uh, funders in the world, if you will. And so we're really taking advantage of that funding that we've had for decades on this topic, right? And we're bringing it to realities. Fantastic, well we look forward to all of the different opportunities that Quantum is set to unlock. So. Well thank you, it was great to talk with you today about Quantum. Yes, you as well. And make sure to check out investors.com slash CES for our full CES coverage.